we've got one more award to give. Um, so I'm going to start if everybody's ready. <laughs> <laughs> Made in Store 20, when you visit the Made in Store, you'll be first impressed with the great staff. They're all very friendly, welcoming to a holy visit. You'll be greeted with a friendly hello, welcome to Goodwill, and of course with a smile. You will then notice a great selection of merchandise, textile wraps consistently filled with high quality name brand clothes, colorized in size and organized, houseware shelves full of unique finds at great prices. The store is always neat and organized, a true testament to the hardworking staff who take pride in their work and meeting the expectations of the store. Every time I visit, I get welcomed like a family member by all. Aww. The fiscal year 2019-20 started off very well for Made in Store. The first six months of the year, so the store beat budget expectations by an average of 11.5% and net budget by nearly 20%. The store was exceeding its production goals for textiles as well. It was all gravy, baby. <laughs> <laughs> then in March, the unexpected happened. COVID, shut down, loss of staff. The picture was very bleak and everyone was nervous as no one knew what the next would come. Everything we, that we knew had been turned upside down in a month's time. Then the donations came. They came in a steady pace at first. But then the floodgates opened and the store was covered in flood and scrambling to keep up. For a full month and a half while the store was shut down, all the staff knew was every day crazy amount of donations were coming their way. Then the news came in May that we were reopening. Coworkers were coming back to work and the customers they, customers they knew like family were able to come back. Even the reopening process was a challenge as due to COVID, life as we know it had changed. There was no normal business as usual anymore. Through all this, the maiden store remained steadfast. The staff worked diligently to process donations, get the store ready to reopen, not knowing what to expect, but hoping for the best. There were no complaints, no quitting, and just positive outlook all the way through. Amy and her staff showed the resilience and finished the fiscal year on a positive note, beating revenue budget by 19% in May, 5% in June. The 2019-20 fiscal year was one for the record books in terms of challenges, uncertainty, and adversity. But Amy and her staff persevered at all, and that is why Store 20 May it in is Store of the Year. Oh. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.